Hello, good morning. I'm Wing Choi and this is the first in the series of videos to help you learn the Java programming language using Code Envy. These videos were adapted from Michael Liu's YouTube videos specifically to use the Code Envy environment and also for the lessons used in this class. Thank you to Michael Liu for his inspiration and his original content. In this video, you're going to learn how to log into CodeEnvy.com. CodeEnvy is a cloud-based IDE. It looks just like NetBeans or Eclipse, or very similar to it at least. And it allows the Java programmer to quickly write code, compile, and execute it. I'm going to go and get my browser to point to the CodeEnvy.com website right now. So, uh, as you can see, we're already at CodeEnvy.com. Uh, what we're going to do is click on login right here. Now Code Envy currently supports both the Chrome browser and Safari. If you have a very strong router settings, antivirus, firewall, or other net nanny settings, it might reject Code Envy. In these cases, you might have to relax the settings a little bit, especially for the CodeEnvy.com website. So if you bring up the login page, Sometimes you might get an error, something like this. Uh, this says that um, you must be logged into code and be account to continue. So uh, if you see a page like this, go ahead and click on login. And then you'll be at the login um, page again. So um, now if you are a new user, you have never been to code Envy before, go ahead and click on create a new account. And then following the instructions there to create a new new account. Once you have a new account, you can come back here to log into your Code Envy uh, account again. So go ahead and type in your credentials. Uh, what I'm going to do is right uh, is type in a credentials for a fictitious user. Type in my password. So at the login page, um, when you type in your email address, that is your Code Envy user's account uh, username. Uh, it's the same as the email email address that you set up your Code Envy user uh, account with. Uh, and then you type in your password, and then you click login right here. Now, once your credentials are accepted, you'll be taken to the workplace that you were last working in. So that's what's happening right now. It's preparing your workspace and uh, loading it up. Now, because I had been working in a Java project in the Jenny Goodwin account before, that's where Code Envy is going to take me when I log in. What we want to do a lot of times, though, is to bring up our project or account dashboard in Code Envy. So let's do that. Once, uh, once a project web page uh, loads up. Go ahead and find the cloud symbol on the top left right here. That says open your dashboard. Go, and go, ahead, go ahead and click on that and it will open a new tab and take you to your dashboard in that new tab. So now it's opening up your dashboard. Great. So this is your da dashboard. Now that you're logged in, you're ready to work. Find the ClueTube video on cloning a project in Code Envy, and let's get started. 